future. I think that the collaborative aspect is what is most exciting about these projects. And uh, I mean, part of it is the collaboration with OSU, but uh, a lot of it is also just that OSU it, and the projects are creating the platform for the farmers to come together and do what we'd like to do anyway, which is get together and talk about farming and how to grow these things. Um, and it also helps to uh, you know, have a specific topic to, to focus on um, and it's a lot of fun to get the information from the researchers at the same time that we would never get just from talking to each other. So there's all these different aspects that play together. The Northern Organic Vegetable Improvement Collaborative, or NOVIC, is a joint project between Oregon State University, University of Wisconsin, Cornell University, the Organic Seed Alliance, USDA, and over 30 organic farms in Oregon, Washington, Wisconsin, and New York. The project team includes experienced researchers, farmers, plant breeders, and seed growers. One goal is to identify and breed vegetable varieties specifically tailored to organic systems and available as organic seed. Access to quality organic seed is a challenge. Currently, many certified organic farmers use conventional seed because their preferred varieties are not available organically. Organic farmers need improved varieties that are specifically adapted to organic systems combined with insect and disease resistance, strong nutritional and flavor quality, and have contemporary productivity traits that are crucial to modern markets. Novik is focused on the development of quality open pollinated varieties rather than more costly hybrids. The project works with university and independent plant breeders to develop new vegetable varieties adapted to organic systems while providing season extension. The five breeding goals Novik focuses on include an open pollinated broccoli that is able to withstand summer heat, a Nance type carrot that can compete well with weeds and can overwinter in the field an edible potted snap pea that is vigorous and produces in warmer summer months, an open pollinated sugar enhanced sweet corn that can germinate in cool wet soils so it can be direct seeded rather than transplanted, and a butternut squash of smaller size that has good storage capability. There is a six slot open as a farmer's choice where collaborating farmers in each region get to choose a crop to work on. The Oregon region has chosen peppers as their farmer's choice crop. So the gypsies have been a really, really great pepper with the exception of the seed supply. Multiple reasons why the gypsies are so good. One is that they don't seem to be as affected by cold, so in, we're pretty cool. Um, and they grow consistently through the season. They ripen early, so um, they're coming on pretty much earlier than any other pepper. They still have a nice thick wall, um, really sweet. Um, they ripen to full red um, without problems. A lot of the bell peppers, we have problems if we ripen them to a full red on the plant. Um, they start to get soft spots or they have some kind of um, irregularity, and so we have to harvest them early. Um, gypsies, no problem ripening a full red on the plant. Um, the other thing that we have a lot of trouble with with bell peppers is a lot of times they set really close together. They set in the crotches, so we have to go through and do a pre-thinning, which means that we're harvesting green peppers, which you don't really like to do. And the gypsies uh, set perfectly. They set very evenly all over the plant, and they never set in the crotches. Um, so this, the whole structure of the plant, the way that they set the fruit, um, their cold tolerance, the, the earliness of them, um, and then the flavor of the fruit is excellent. So the goal of the pepper trial is to find an early sweet pepper as a substitute for the current standard, which is gypsy. Varieties that are included in the Novik trials are decided on by farmers and researchers at annual meetings. Collectively, we come up with the evaluation criteria and a list of commercially available varieties as well as material local breeders have developed that we feel are possible fits for our crop goals. 
Every season, nine varieties and breeding lines are selected to be trialed for each Novik crop. A mother-daughter design is used, which includes a central mother site at each university research station where all nine varieties are planted in three replications. While the daughter sites are at collaborating organic farms with one replication per farm, so each crop has a mother site and three daughter farm sites, which makes six replicates for each variety. This design provides good insight on how a variety will perform across various farms. Individual farms vary, so it's important to trial at several farms, and the university research farms do not necessarily represent a working organic farm. It's been really great being part of the Novik trials. Um, as growers, we um, have these great intentions of trialing varieties, and often um, as the season gets away with us and the harvest time is really busy, it can be hard to keep track of a lot of different varieties that we might want to trial. Um, so this way, with the Novik trials, we're able to see that variety growing on our farm, but have the support and help of the researchers to keep the data and keep the records and then share that with us in the winter when we can absorb a bit more. Uh, it's also really great to have that happening simultaneously at a few different farms in our region so that we can compare results and also just generally share um, successes and uh, <laughs> other things with <laughs> other growers um, that are in our area.